Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I got a smartwatch box here for you, and guess what? It's going to be a fun one. Really looks nice from the uh, pictures that I've been looking at. I'll show you those in a minute. Let's see how it is, really. Whoa, there it is. We got the one with the green dial. I was hoping for that. Okay, it doesn't pop out that way. Got to take the card out. There we go. And there's the watch unit itself. It's got a little cover on it, which we can pull off. Wow, it's even got a little raised spot there. I wonder what that's all about. We'll find out. Okay, let's get the cover. Oh, a little tough. There we go. There we go. Simulated watch face on here. And before we get any deeper, let's talk about this one. It's called the Bakey E11. You got it there? Comes to us from Banggood. Got a link, of course, in the show notes for you. Roughly about $55 or so. And hopefully we'll have a coupon for you, too. Stake to claim of this one. It's a Bluetooth calling watch. And it has a luminous dial, which we don't see very often on these. Especially if it's a smartwatch where the screen can constantly change, right? But this one's got a luminous style. Look at that. And it's got local music playback as well. Spec-wise, here's what we've got. Um, it's using Bluetooth version 4. I wish it was 5. 5 gives us a little better connectivity, sound, lower power level. But this is 4. It's got uh, 128 megabytes of additional storage in it now for music, and you'll be able to tether it Bluetooth 4 to your earbuds. So as we're seeing these emerge, 128 is like the minimum. That's about 30 songs you can carry with you and not need your phone around. 256 is about middle, and we're really waiting for you know, half a gigabyte or a full gigabyte of memory so you can start taking more of your music library with you. But for a basic watch that's attractive, that you can actually take uh, some of your music along with you, this is it. H-Band, which we've reviewed many, many times, this is a good tethering uh, app, and that's what tethers here. we got Bluetooth call, heart rate monitor, blood pressure, all the standard stuff. Multi-sport modes are included. Yeah, sedentary reminders, brightness, the music player. It's a 1.28 inch IPS 240 by 240, so it's a basic, not high res, but just basic screen. Looks like they're trying to balance features versus price in this one. 230 uh, milliamp hour battery, 15 days standby time, 3 to 5 days usage time it claims, and there's your dimensions and everything. So as we dig deeper in here, We've got this massive metal band. That's what the, uh, the, is shown in all of the product literature. Uh-oh, and my pin is starting to fall out here. It's, uh, of course, removable, and you could put different... Uh, we'll take that out later. You can put different bands on it if you want to. And it comes with a charging dock. Oh, I haven't seen docks for a while. Most of them have wires with the magnetic coupling. But this one doesn't. USB on that end. Charging pins on that end. It's pretty lightweight, actually. That's going to make up for it, though. Uh, looks like we snap it in place. Wow, is this a flashback or what? Wow, okay. Not terribly excited about that. It makes sure that the knob is out because it's not going to go in without the knob being... Well, it's just a push button, so you don't have to pull it out like the old watches. But it does separate the watch button from the watch, so you can't cycle it while it's in the charger. Oh, some unique and interesting stuff there. User's manual, Chinese and English, we hope. There we go. And by way of jumping in here... There's the H-band QR code you'd scan. It gives you a few of the screens that you'd see and some basic information about how the watch works. We'll be running through all of this actively on it in just a moment, but just in case there's a little thing we miss or something you want to review closer, I'd like to show you the pages of the, uh, the manual that you can freeze frame here on YouTube to take a closer look if you need to. Sleep time is talked about heart rate, 
And then there's blood pressure. Again, now with blood pressure, always take that with a grain of salt. Um, it's being done, you know, without a cuff. And so the reliability of the data is somewhat questionable on all of these devices. So we put a disclaimer in there saying just to um, treat it as a toy, give you some guidance, but definitely don't use it as uh, something valid for assessing your health. Wow, lots of text on this one. This is uh, somebody really spent some time writing. We've got a few little pictures in here. Uh, I'll talk about the app. And there you go. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. It was, well, we'll put it all back together here and charge it up for you. Here it is on. Check it out. Look how nice. Now, I had to pull out a bunch of links all from this one side. There's an equal number on that side. So this whole thing can be made a much smaller or larger, depending on your arm size. When we tap and hold the button, that turns the watch on. This particular model's got this beautiful green bezel and a coordinated green face that launches automatically when you turn it on. We'll show you a few more faces in a moment. When I swipe down, got a bunch of different commands, alarms. This will uh, notify your phone if you've lost it do not disturb your basic information it's the e11 is the model that we've got here uh, a couple of more things i guess this is a broadcast for the bluetooth and there's your date and power level basic things that you need to know when you go either right or left you loop around coming over here i can do a blood pressure reading by pressing it now it takes it a while um it looks like a thermometer but it's actually blood pressure so we're not going to belabor it but you see it does a whole percentage all the way around then it gives you your systolic over diastolic here's our heart rate it's showing you your uh lowest and highest and it's creating a chart i've had it on just a little while but you know yep, this is 24 hours hours so you really can monitor this is a real chart now you can really monitor your live heart rate continuously nice big digits to see the actual current heart rate uh, really like this one it's 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 well done last night's sleep time basic stuff shows up here step count distance traveled all of that shows up there and then you're back to your watch faces now this is fun when you swipe up you're into this music player thing they put a thing, an MP3 on here. I'm going to pull that off and use it from now on because it's a great way to test the speaker. Check this out. I don't think it's copyrighted either, so Google's not going to get mad at me. You hear it all? Now, you can also change the volume. There's a few places it sounds like it's distorting a little bit. Let's try it all the way up. Here we go. Isn't that fun? So that's an example of what the speaker will sound like. It count covers a great range. You've got good volume control right here. You have the ability to set it to play whatever music you have on your watch. You could transfer that from your computer up to about 30 songs, or you can make it a remote player for your phone, uh, or you can set up and tether it to earbuds and you choose it from that selection there. So that alone is a really, really nice feature of this extremely beautiful dress watch. And that you get to by swiping down. The last thing is if I press here, I get into the whole uh, app drawer where you've got your different sports, running, walking, hiking, basic kind of stuff. Uh, that'll uh, coordinate with your standard pedometer. There's your step count, sleep, heart rate, blood pressure. We went through all of those. Here's where you can do your calling with contacts and a call log. Set that whole thing up. Get your text messages sent from your phone. Alarm clock, stopwatch, timers, music. There we go again. Find your phone. It's got the female cycle stuff because the H-Band app supports that. If you're a female or if you put in a register as a female and track your partner's information, you can get that on your watch as well. Remote photography and overall settings where you can change the brightness and look 
It's nice and bright and we're way down at four. Crank that puppy all the way up and you're going to easily see this outside. All the way down and indoors. It's going to be pretty tame at night. Still a little bit on the bright side. Let's leave it at four. That seems to work. Set up an auto lock. These are the switches that you can set on the app or here. You can do your heart rate monitoring and blood pressure real time monitoring. You can set up heart rate alarms, so if you're exercising too hard, you go into that zone, it'll let you know. A disconnection alert, uh, turn your wrist, wrist to see the time, and of course, setting a sedentary alarm. That's beautiful that it's on the watch, so you don't have to be tethered to your app just to make those changes. There's the download, your dial settings. Oh yes, we're going to go into that here in a moment. Uh, messages, information, and clear the whole data. Now, speaking of, I guess we could go in from here because it's a long press and hold on the watch faces to get them to activate. So go into dial settings. There's your first one. We saw that. Here's another nice one. There's only four, so I'm going to walk you through them. This is pretty nice and very colorful, as you can see. Now, two things you can do with this. In addition to the stock faces that are installed, you have one that you can adjust with a background picture and change it around the way you want. And the other one, you can actually download one face from the selection that's on the app. I'll show you those in a minute. This is your customized one. You can change that background and you'll have just a digital thing. And here is one of the faces that I downloaded and I really like from the uh, server. And I think that coordinates pretty nice too. It's kind of a camouflage green with a more of a lime green anyway lots of good information on the watch as you can tell let's check those faces out when you're over in the h band app which we're not going to go through extensively we've shown this many times i have no data but you can see the categories it's just starting to populate here uh, but all of the it does not do blood oxygen by the way i didn't see that on here or heart rate variability but the app supports that for other devices ecg all that none of that um and there's the female thing if you've set it up for that you'll see the uh, where you are in the cycle thing but what you can do is hit more real-time heart rate real-time blood pressure right activated from the watch remotely is available and you go into settings and you get all your basic settings again we've covered that before but I want to take you over to the dial settings and just show you in the more faces you've got quite a few different faces that you can choose from and any one of these you can add to the watch as well so lots of categories lots of capabilities analogs digitals really nice stuff okay that's the one we just chose and that's what's going to be on the watch until uh, we change it and of course you can select whatever dial you want directly from here let's go to that dial three nice bright one then look at the angle that you get with this watch too I'm impressed. It's a decent watch for a Bluetooth calling watch that uh, is definitely a very dressy device. It comes to us from Banggood, one of our favorite um, partners here. They've always got creative watches. This is the Bakey E11. And oh, the luminous dial. Oh, I got to show you that. You know this magic trick, right? Get yourself one of those ultraviolet uh, flashlights and that will make anything that's uh, luminous glow. So here we go. There's the watch. What's luminous? What's luminous? Let's look at the... No, this is all just reflective silver. Yep, there it is. The little dot at the top. That is what glows in the dark. So... <laughs> Yeah, they were able to put it in the description. Actually, it is functional. You know, if you're in bed, you have it in the do not disturb mode or whatever, and you really want to know which way is up on your watch, you're walking down the hall and you think you might fall off, uh, that, that little dot's going to glow. You set it by your nightstand, you need to find your watch, that little dot's going to tell you where it is. So get yourself an ultraviolet flashlight. They got them at Banggood just after you're over there. Uh, just search on ultraviolet light. Wow, that is fun. I haven't tried it like that before. It really messes with the camera. Anyway, there you go. That's part of the deal too. Your little extra luminous dot is on there. It's got the music player built in. Uh, what more could you want? Really nice, very dressy watch. Uh, check it out in the show notes and hopefully have a buying link for you and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, gang.